Hi everyone, Elisa here with my next craft video. This one is for St. Patrick's Day. So take a look, check it out, and give it a try. So the supplies you're gonna need is one pack of paintbrushes in varying sizes, one pair of detailing scissors, and patterns for clovers and numbers. You'll also want a small dish of water and a paper towel, a bottle of Folk Art Glitterific Acrylic Paint in Rose Gold, Apple Barrel Brand Acrylic Paint in Antique Parchment, Apple Barrel Acrylic Paint in New Shamrock, and a pack of outdoor lights. I got these at Walmart, wire lights with a copper colored wire, and a pack of glue dots. And I'm using the super strength half inch size glue dots, but I have a stapler handy just in case those don't work. I also have an eight by eight wood palette that I found from the Dollar General. And if you can see, it stands up on its own freely. All right, take a few minutes to use your detailing scissors to cut out the one and the seven from your number patterns and also cut out your clover pattern. The one I'm using is a seven by seven inch clover. Next, you wanna get your palette board and decide the placement of your clover. After you've decided the placement of your clover and your numbers, trace around both of them with a pencil. Now it's time to start painting. I started with the number 17 at the center of my clover and I am using the antique parchment to carefully paint those numbers. Have you met my cat Theo? He's gonna be popping in and out for the rest of this video. I finished painting the number 17 and it only took one coat of paint. It didn't soak into the unfinished wood. All right, now it's time for the new shamrock shade of green. I put a quarter size amount on my paper towel and I picked a pretty wide brush because we're gonna be covering a wide surface on the board. I started with the outer edge and outlined the clover all the way around. Just be careful as you go that you don't smear your number 17 in case it is still a little bit wet. You'll need a second quarter size dab of paint in order to completely cover the clover. Now I chose to use the rose gold acrylic paint to outline the entire clover. I think it's looking really good. Some of you may wanna stop at this point. Maybe you don't wanna add lights. I think it looks cute just like it is. But as you can see, I chose to add lights to my project and let me show you what they're like. Now it's time to begin to place the lights around your clover. You're going to want to make sure that you start at the end where the battery pack is. Hold the battery pack at the bottom of your palette board at the stem of the clover and use that end of the lights 
to begin working your way around the shape of the clover. You'll use your glue dots, stretch them out a little bit, don't leave them circular, but stretch them long and place them alongside the outer edge of the clover. Press the lights into the glue dots and my string of lights was able to go around the clover four times. I think it turned out great and I think Theo agrees. At the end of this video is a decorating suggestion for this clover palette board. Happy St. Patrick's Day.